Hey, Ghost. Um, you spoke about using your head with these guys, but ironically, with Omar's style, uh, do you like your chances it, to mow him down since it's likely he's going to kind of keep it toe-to-toe and keep the pressure on you as opposed to being a pure boxer? Oh, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Just because I'm using my head don't mean I'm going to be over here on my toes, you know, prancing around and, and uh, you know, moving and moving. You know, I'm there to fight. I'm here to fight and, uh, you know, when I come down to talking about using my head, I'm I'm talking about putting all my skills to use and, and um, you know, doing things that I haven't done in the boxing gym, um, you know, listening to my father in the corner on taking advice on what I need to do and what I need to change up. Um, but but don't get me wrong, uh, you know, using my head, I was never that type of, you know, dancing around, moving around boxer. I've always been that type of boxer where, um, you know, I'll stay in there in the pocket, you know, and stuff like that, so. Um, you know, it's, yeah, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm, I'm not there to run around and, and, and move and, and, you know, shake and bake. I'm there to fight. Copy. Copy. Okay. Now, is, is this your first fight in New York? Uh, yes. Uh, the closest I've been to New York was, uh, New Jersey. Newark. Okay. And it, being that this is a bit historical and that it is New York, it, does it bring any extra excitement for you or is this a case of once you've been in one ring, you've been in all of them? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, you hit it right on. I mean, once you've been in one ring, you know, and have done it for a long time, and, and, you know, you've been different places, you know, out of the country to fight, and and a whole bunch of different places. It, it You know, it, it it comes down to just being ready and, and knowing how to, how to get in there and take care of business, um, you know, but I'm excited. I'm excited to be coming out to the East Coast and, uh, you know, doing it. I just know uh, next time uh, I learn my lesson, don't go out there and, you know, don't carry your firearm with you. <laughs> okay. And uh, let me see if I can squeeze in two more. Notwithstanding comments by fans about gatekeeper status or what have you, do you view this as your final opportunity for a serious run at a world title? Um, no, nah, you know, I, I think it's a, it's a, it's at a critical point where, you know, you got to take care of business. Uh, you know, anything happens in boxing. I mean, you know, that, that, that's the one nice thing about, um, the type of fighter that I am, you know, you're always relevant in the division because, um, you know, you ain't no pushover, you come to fight. So, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, but I mean, every fight, every fight, you got to take it, uh, like it's your last, and you got to be ready. 